And right now, there's something special going on at Graders. This is Jennifer Galt, and she's here from The Cure Starts Now to tell us about Cones for the Cure. Good to see you, Jennifer. Good to see you. So how many years have, have uh, you and Graders been partnering up for Cones and the Cure now? So this is the ninth year. Ninth year. Yeah. That's fantastic. Tell me what it is so people out there can find out. So from September 8th through the 18th, people can stop into any Graders location and get a scoop of Elena's Blueberry Pie ice cream named after Elena Deserick. And a portion of those sales go back to the foundation, and they can also make um, some donations. Um, get a five with a five dollar donation, you get a coupon book. So it's just a great cause all around. That is really nice. I know yesterday Graders was giving out free cones yes. of Elena's blueberry pie ice cream. Um, tell me a little bit about Elena and how she came up with that ice cream flavor. Yeah, so Elena is the inspiration behind The Cure Starts Now. She was just six when she passed away from DIPG and Broken Keith Deserick, her parents, they made it their goal to make sure no other family had to go through that. So they founded The Cure Starts Now Foundation and the ice cream flavor was named after her um, through a gala wish that we actually had. Uh, Brooke and Keith are just such inspiring people to have done what they've done and I, I, just, I know last week just last week some new information came out about a, a huge pledge to DIPG research tell me about that yeah um, there have been so many strides made and we just recently were able to fund 1.3 million dollars um, here this month in new grants so it's just really exciting um, people are starting to be more interested in DIPG research and the strides that have been made within the last five years are huge they know so much more and I, and I know they know so much more because of some of the the really um, inspirational people who have gone through it, people like Lauren Hill and Kyler Bradley. Um, when Elena or when Elena went through it, there there wasn't really any attention on it. Right. Tell me how that's changed. Yeah. So um, Brooke and Keith always say when Elena was diagnosed, the doctors really didn't know what DIPG was. But now, since the DIPG collaborative has been working together, um, people have just been sharing research. So we tried to not duplicate things, so people can build upon what past researchers have done. And that, that's, that, that collaborative is made up of doctors all over the world working to find a cure for DIPG. So do your part. It's really easy. You just go get some ice cream at yes. Graders and you can help. The Cure starts now with a $5 donation. Jennifer, thanks so much. Thank you. And good luck. Good Thank luck. You. Let us know how much money you're Yes. Right. Okay. Get your ice cream. Now here's